we're all human beings and we're all going to suffer some sort of an end. And many of us, I think that end is going to be with cancer. And uh, I've certainly lived through that in the last decade as one after the other, my family has fallen to cancer, including my dear wife. She died of lung cancer. So that was the last sort of chapter in this ongoing sort of tragedy of cancer, which is, I guess, just simply the tragedy of life. My wife, uh, finally, um, she had surgery for lung cancer, and then um, uh, uh, she was on a, a drug that sort of uh, fit in with her uh, mutation, which I think, and, and Bob, you probably can tell me exactly what the mutation is that many Asian women have. Uh, and that lasted for about a year and a half and then began to see some more spots on her lung and uh, it, it was not possible to do surgery again. So we did go do a trial um, and the only place within near us, there was no uh, hospital doing it within the San Francisco Bay Area. So we went down to the city of Hope in Pasadena. So we had to move the whole family down there. Uh, rent a house, and um, there's a wonderful hospital there. So I'm acquainted with drug trials. Sadly, in my wife's case, the trial drug actually was working on the lung tumors, but the side effects are what finally killed her. And i become rather interested in that. And, and um, Bob, my, my uh, uh, doctor at UCSF, Adil Dowd, is, does um, mostly um, uh, melanoma, but he has a whole team and uh, people working in his lab. And I listen in, he lets me listen into their reports. And the, the latest round of reports, of course, is on untoward side effects of uh, immunotherapies that actually may treat the cancer, but trigger the immune system to do something else as well. That's, and so that's kind of very interesting. In a funny way, one of the things that I've uh, spent my whole life in and out of China and America, but one of the things that's just so starkly missing is connecting um, in any official way or any sort of formal way that, 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 that relates to just us as human beings struggling to have good lives. I mean, sort of diplomacy does not know how to factor those elements into the equation very well. In order, I might say, does it know how to factor the psychology of leadership into the foreign policy equation? So this notion that you all have, um, have confected of uh, trying to find some common basis through this very elemental challenge to just being alive, cancer, uh, it, it seems so incontrovertible to me that, that it, it's a natural area for us to at least here have some non-adversarial and cooperative relationship. 